Hello everyone, how are you doing today? How is your day so far? So today uh, we're playing Ace Attorney. We're gonna continue the story. I'm really mm, curious what is new case about. Um, yeah, let's go into the game. Hmm. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot it's um I forgot it's not I forgot it's not in God computer and I was like moving my mouse. Alright. Uh Alright. Alright, okay. I changed position. To more comfortable oh wait a second i could definitely fix my camera Choop. all right i feel like that's way better Ugh. all right amazing yes Ooh, it's been what 15 years about that yes 15 years is a long time to wait you can't imagine how much i've suffered you've suffered but now the perfect opportunity has presented itself at last i shall have my revenge what? <gasps> Merry Christmas. Bam. All right. <gasps> no way. No way. Oh my God. That was something. I didn't expect to happen. Sorry, I'm I'm taking the leftover sweat from my face <laughs> for a bit. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. What the hell? I feel like it never it didn't like I don't know. It's so wait, I'm trying to find a better angle. It's so odd. Is it better? It is better. It's so... Uh, I didn't expect that. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Huh? Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I have been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. <laughs> Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Um, <gasps> good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. <laughs> Next in news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. Okay. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though it though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. <laughs> locals are confident I can't read. <laughs> locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Ah <sighs> boring. 
Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Huh? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Hmm... Good idea, Nick! Oh god. Apparently, Faye Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found. Why am I doing man's boy, by the way? <laughs> The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 20. Oh my god, he's so young! Age 24. Edgeworth was an up and coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Huh? Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes, Maya. The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Alright, let's go. Detention. Ooh, okay, let's go detention center. Oh god, why I want to watch Scooby-Doo now? I don't know, this game puts me in a Scooby-Doo mood. Is there Scooby-Doo on... <gasps> Wait a second, where can I watch Scooby-Doo? I think it's not on Netflix, not on Disney+. Plus. Welcome Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, detention center. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? <gasps> That's so true! That's so true! She's been here. I, Phoenix Wright, been here. And now Edgeworth is here. We just need the judge to get here. <laughs> Honestly, it's gonna be like family gathering, you know, at this point. I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Kind of true. Ah! <laughs> okay. Da da da. Hey, Edgeworth, come back! Oh, I need a new voice for him. Hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, I I can't I can't try to change my voice. I will forget in the mid game. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he's in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna laugh at myself, what the hell? Well, why aren't you laughing? Hello, Red Blaze, how are you? Sorry, I didn't answer you yesterday, I couldn't see chat. But I saw later you, you, you commented and I felt guilty I didn't answer. I was like, honestly, like, no one says anything. I was like, okay, it's fine, I will talk to myself. And then it suddenly unlocked, and I was like, 
so many messages that I kind of ignored because it didn't it didn't show didn't show up. I was feeling guilty. <laughs> what if I, yeah, how rude that the damn Streamlabs kind of lagged the chat. So freaking rude. It unlocked when um uh when I got uh redemption of channel points and then it unlocked but i was terrified i was like i didn't know what's going on because it didn't show up in the chat that the points were redeemed and i was like huh, is that a ghost huh? million yeah sure yeah definitely i had million people talking i mean there were quite many <laughs> oh there was a party without me i see Oh god. What you've been up to? I, I show you uh, I saw oh my god, <laughs> I can't speak. Uh I saw the picture you posted on Discord of uh a halibut, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. It was a halibut for sure. I got my Discord notifications. Hm. Ooh, I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm glad you enjoyed. Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he will get mad or burst in te into tears. Edward, we don't have so much free time we can spend in. Read. Um, we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Mm. Yes, you do. <laughs> what is that voice? I feel like his voice wouldn't be that deep. But that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, music. I hoped you wouldn't come. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Oh god. Um, I didn't want you to see. Whoa. What is that suddenly? Is that a romance? I hoped you. Wait, now I need to change the vibe. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Oh my god. It's really like a. Oh my, is that a bromance? I didn't want to. Oh my god, I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. God, I feel bad for him now. <sighs> Let's talk. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, sorry? You're a novice. You... You have only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three, but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Oh my god, it's getting dramatic. It's getting dramatic. I love it. Gord Lake. So, Red Pace, what you've been up to recently? Tell me. <laughs> the, mur the murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the Kurt house. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mm, Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really. He did it. He did it. Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. 
Gertie? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edward talk to us? Listen, we're gonna move to the Gerd, Gerd, whatever the pronunciation is, like entrance. Hmm. Ooh, it looks nice, a spooky a bit. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gerd Lake is in the middle of this park. Uh huh. Food. Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. First thing sounds amazing. Food. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, Paul, there is enough of us here. Anyone found anything? <laughs> Sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues. On the double. Uh, but, sir... There weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that an attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. <laughs> Just try saying that again. I will... I will... I will make you sorry if you do. Oh, I see. So, in short, it's like fun, 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 right? Oh, really? So just, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Records? Pay? Oh, records. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, if, oh no, it's like so funny today for some odd reason. Ah! Eek! <laughs> hey, you're that har hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right, Phoenix, right. And just what are you doing here, Paul? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Oh, he don't want Edward to be guilty. It's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't drink coffee today. High energy me? First time. Maybe it lost. Who knows? Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up? Um, Mr. Edward hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Oh, he's worried. Oh no. There's like a triangle bromance going on here. I sense it. I sense it. Alright. Uh, talk. Talk? What happened? Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, uh, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... huh? Never mind, I will tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on the Gerd Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other one with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Uh, well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Oh my god, I'm so... I'm so into this story. This case, I think it might be the most interesting one. 
who am I gonna be against as a prosecutor then? You know? Who? It's not gonna be Edgeworth. Some new guy. Or girl. Yeah, it is. It is. Already number four. Hmm. <laughs> really? I will check your golden rule today. I will check few books. If chapter four in each book is gonna be disappointing. <laughs> oh, you got scared of my th threat, right? You were scared. <laughs> you don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there is a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. Hmm, you really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do, but the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. <gasps> Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edward has been to us... Us? Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, to be honest, he did help us last trial. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Okay. Okay, it's getting interesting. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. <laughs> Why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he would ask... He had asked you to defend him. Unfortunately not. Well, Paul, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Hmm? July 4th? Oh. Full week. It's long. It's long. Is it paid holidays? <laughs> um, prove it to me, Paul. Oh, yeah. Prove it to me, Paul. Show me you're an attor attorney. Oh, that's great. Ooh, nice. I feel like winter break or like for Christmas is the best. You can eat a lot, you know, <laughs> drink a lot. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Who was the w this witness? Uh, sorry, Paul, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything apparently. I'm sure they will turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yeah, it was pretty cold out. Uh, on the lake last night so listen I want to watch Scooby-Doo and I think it's not on Netflix or Disney Plus and I'm quite upset about it I'm like already vibing <gasps> oh my god I remember when I was young I was watching Scooby-Doo it was so fun but thankfully, Netflix has a uh, Goosebump TV series, service, service, TV series. I can't speak today. At least that. But I want to watch Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo the movies. Is it? Velma? <laughs> Why you don't say Daphne? I thought I'm I'm the the cute one. 
<laughs> oh no, Velma is cute too. But wait, I can't. Why am I reminded? Why is it glasses? Daphne, the ginger one. I want it to be a ginger one. Why Velma though? I mean, I the glasses. I knew it, but I'm not wearing glasses today, so. Scooby? <laughs> well, well, but, but he's a guy though. He's a boy, so... I kind of prefer to stick to my origin and stay as a female in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Velma is good, but I'm not as smart as Velma. It would be kind of how, like, how can I remind you of Velma? I don't want to be ghosts. I don't want to be bad guy in Scooby. -Doo. I want to be a detective. I want to be detective. I want to solve crimes, you know, this kind of stuff. I can be a bad guy in something else. Like, I don't know. I can be a bad guy, like, in Hogwarts. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, Sherlock Holmes game. Is it on Nintendo or Steam? Let me check it out. Wait. Do, do, do. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, game. Mm. Oh, is it on Nintendo Switch? Oh, it is. It is. It shows it is. But I think it might be on sale on Steam now. Let me check it out. Now I'm curious. Because it's sale on Steam right now. Some of the games. I think I actually added it on my wish list. Who's playing? Moi playing. Wait. So Sherlock Holmes store. Okay. Oh wait, but there's a lot of games. <gasps> wait a second, which one? Wait a second. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened? The Awakened? Oh, wait a second. I'm not sure which one. <gasps> oh god, I made a mistake. The Awakened. All right. Oh, it is on sale. 35% off. Okay, let me add it to the cart and I will think about it. It ends, promotion ends 14 July. I will check it also on Nintendo later. Oh, all right. All right. I added it. We'll see. We'll see. I for sure want some more detective games. I also saw... I saw something similar. But did I saw it on Nintendo or computer? I don't remember. But I would definitely play some more... Um, some more... Uh, oh my god, I forgot what I was supposed to say. Detective or like... A, Law kind of games, you know, because I'm a pro now. <laughs> joking, joking. Uh, and it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we are being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I 
forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Snake? Uh, talk to Santa. Alright, I think we can examine Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Alright, what else? Trees. That's why the trees look like that. I feel winter is chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yeah, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> Actually, same. <laughs> okay, what else do we have in here? Nothing. All right, so should we like move? Wait, where is the like? Okay, let's move to detention center. Maybe now I, I can be his lawyer. I can't. Hmm, I can't. Mm-hmm. Huh. I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe back to the... Move to the office? Talk. Any ideas? Oh god, it's not that easy. Mm, I think it's the time for my glasses, right? Okay, I'm a Valma now. Oh jeez. I see nothing. Hmm, what did I missed? What did I missed? I still see something that I shouldn't see. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. Is it better? I should get just a surgery. It would be easier, honestly. <sighs> All right. I feel like I'm missing something. I have no idea. Mm. 
Okay, that's kind of odd. I'm pretty sure I should be... <laughs> I should be able to get in. Uh... <sighs> Maybe I should show this one. I don't know at this point. That badge, you're showing that to the wrong guy, Paul, pal. But I... <sighs> Guys, something is definitely wrong. Hmm... Investigate... Wait... Any ideas? Honestly, <sighs> your attorney's badge, Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Ha, 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 ha. Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I have talked to has turned me down, so that's a good decision. What? <laughs> Simply put, they were afraid they would lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Okay, what if I move now? I think, I think we're getting here. Hello, Luke. God, sorry, I was so focused on figuring it out. Haha. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh yeah, happy 4th of July. Jesus, I didn't realize it's 4th today. My mind stopped on two. <laughs> Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edwards' case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. <laughs> What's more, the case against him is... Well, it's pretty solid. Now we can move? Hey, pal. Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Oh my god, my, my bromance is going on. Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective... Oh, Detective Gumshoe, sir. What, find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, uh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last thing you want to ask me about before I head back? <gasps> the autopsy report. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry, they haven't worked up the autopsy report yet, so we don't know who the victim is. Interesting. 
I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, Paul. You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Uh, I will show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Oh, hey, Detective Gamshu. What? Um, we would like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, Paul. You got my permission. Thanks, buddy. Um, I wanted to ask, look, you're streaming today, right? What are you streaming today? What is the day today? I think I missed the schedule for this week. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they are busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's investigate. Let's go investigating. Oh, so what are you gonna play? If you don't fancy Pokemon. Is it the Dino Cozy game? Ooh, so surprise stream. Surprise stream. All right. Ooh. Okay, let's go public beach. <laughs> okay, sounds fun. Sounds very adventurous. Nice. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it weren't a wowzer is though of course he's gonna enjoy the stream he's always in a great mood honestly except this one time when the game was kind of kind of difficult to manage when the game needed to kind of develop more <laughs> um yeah, Red Blaze. What up? <laughs> yeah, the anger was real back then. <laughs> Are you planning to come back to this game, though? Uh, yeah, I read it. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Oh, I want snack now. Oh, you will. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I want to see you play it again. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. <laughs> I bet they're great. With a name like samurai dog, how could they not be? Oh, because she's obsessed with samurais. Oh, is that a, like a hot dog? But samurai dog? I think so. They're a little behind the times though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. Oh yeah, 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 there are. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Okay, examine. What's that? Some birthday hats. By the way, it's like December in the game. What the hell? Why there's, like, no much signs of December? Huh? Someone left some poppers here, you know? You pulled the street. Oh, like the Christmas crackers, right? <laughs> kind of. They call it poppers? I was sure it's Christmas crackers. Huh. You learn something new every day, I guess. And it gets pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's and Christmas. You always do it for the Christmas parties. For sure in UK. Yeah. Hey Nick, they might, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it, you just want to pop them, right? Uh, was it that obvious? Poppers, hmm. Should I take them or leave them? That's a question. 
I honestly, I am not sure if it's like useful or not. Because, um, you know, like who knows? Who knows? Maybe I will take them just in case. There's an option. I mean, you never know. Hmm, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket! Okay, a classic party noisemaker's pool, the string, it goes bam. Not very clue worthy. Oh, really? Was that a mistake then? Hmm, let's look around a bit. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I would. Like eating this kind of food on a cold day is the best. Oh god. I can just imagine the park covered with snow. You're buying some hot snacky and you're like holding like a hot cocoa or like hot chocolate cup. <gasps> oh god, I'm getting the vibes. Oh god, I want to do it now. I want to stroll around the park covered in snow with a hot drink and hot food and the snow could be falling too oh my god now i want to watch christmas movie what is wrong with me today first i wanted to watch scooby-doo then christmas movie but not like christmas christmas more like a winter movie you know yeah maybe it's because it's hot i kind of want to see a bit of coldness i don't know I doubt anyone would sit here. Okay. Except maybe Maya if she had a samurai dog. Hot dog stand. It's closed. <laughs> oh, actually I worked in an ice cream truck. It was fun, you know. I could eat some ice cream. I had one favorite one. It was strawberry cheesecake with uh, small bits of cheesecake. Oh, it was so delicious. I think I ate it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, it was great. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Hmm... yawning time wow guard like is really big yeah say nick why is it called guard lake oh well a long time ago they used to grow guards what is guard jesus christ guard what is guard <gasps> oh wait guard all right i know what's that now okay i learned something new i learned a new word <laughs> okay maybe i will use it one day um Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Alright, what's that? Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Oh, trash can. The trash can is empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually worked in an ice cream truck in the UK. But it was not driving. It was standing like in front of what I was working at. Fun, fun, fun. Actually, it was kind of boring uh it was just interesting on a hot days you know when once in a while it would be extremely hot day then it was getting busy 
I was reading book most of the time, so kind of the best job ever, if you ask me. I could just sit there, read my bookie and be like, oh my god, I'm working so hard. Yeah, not super interesting. Maybe, thank God, I could I could read a lot. Of, this summer I read so many books, but I was not uh, all the time there. I kind of... I mean, no one else wanted to go there, to be honest. Um, and I was like, well, I, you know... Because they were like, oh my God, it's so hot there, it's boring. And I was like, let me put my tank top on, my shorts, I'm grabbing can of a few cans of like coke or some drink just put it into the um not freezer but uh, there was also a fridge there because i also had like a cold drinks there um and i had my book and i was like yeah summer <laughs> but i loved uh, going back to the uh, inside you know too i was like do anyone wants to switch because i kind of want to i don't know talk to people Maybe do some computer work, like, I don't know. Just a bit of change for like a few hours. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun, it was fun. I have nothing to complain. It was not the worst job I had. The worst job was when I was like, I don't know, 16, 15. No, I had to be younger. Never mind, like a teenager, first job. First like official job. I went to pick up the blueberries. Oh, never again, never again. I did it one summer, one summer. I never did it again. It was shit money. I got sick from it. The, the people who were kind of, you know, uh, taking care of the workers, they were kind of scary and shitty and... Uh, whole day i mean whole day in the sun it was fun me and my friends were playing the music and like you know there were also some cute boys there so we were like i you know it was kind of fun but on the blueberry bushes there were like a bugs there oh my god i still oh god it was traumatizing Oh God, never again. And you had to, you know, you had to do, you had to pick up quite many. So it was not like chill, but then you would have a break and you can, you know, talk to people a bit and it was a bit better, but no, never again. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun for a bit until it gets like dramatic or when it started raining heavily, you know, but the boys were cute. And when it got really hot, they were taking off their, you know, shirts. And I was like, you know, teenager me, I was like, oh, God, oh, God, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, it was nice. Nice summer for a bit. Then I was like, oh, I could have just spent my summer on like on a beach. <sighs> Having fun, playing volleyball, swimming. Also seeing boys, I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend going to pick up blueberries. It's not the best job, okay? I preferred picking up mushrooms in the forest when I was like a t teeny tiny kid and like wild blueberries in the forest. I was doing that to get a few coins to go like buy ice cream in my great grandma countryside but yeah you know the experiences now i now i will remember till the end of my days the, the this events you know oh, but the box though Ugh. uh all right can we there, there's literally no clues here no clues here But the cute boys, <laughs> like who doesn't who doesn't like cute boys or cute girls? Because most of the people there they were kind of older though, so only cute boys. 
but they were in our group, you know? It was fun. So, I think we could move. Woods. Oh, boat rental. Oh, we have two options. Let's check the boat rental shop. Oh, that's cute. About rental shop. Clo close for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Oh, I want to go on a boat. Let's examine. Oh. <gasps> the window. Wait. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Oh yeah, probably. Who would be in the boathouse in the middle of the winter? Oh, the boat. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so basically no clues here. Oh wait, what's that? There's more forest off that way. I doubt I would find any helpful clues in there. There should be some clues here. They got a boat from somewhere. Hmm. Alright. Uh I feel like I should I should. Oh, what they pressed? Oh, yeah. Move. Let's move here and then to the forest. Uh, where is it? Oh, woods. December twenty fifth, Guard Lake Woods. <gasps> no camping, and there's a camping. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got gods camping at the scene of a murder. And by no camping sign. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Hey, hey, Nick. Oh my god. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Examine the car. The, this is uh, <laughs> this SUV has seen better days. <laughs> it's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. Oh my god. I'm hungry now. I was just wondering why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Aluminum. 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 <laughs> I think it's aluminum. I think so. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there is no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then. <laughs> I'm not having this conversation. I want to go camping. Wait a second. Let's, oh, but how am I going to go camping when I have baby cat? And ba baby puppy, it's fine. But baby cat. I can't go camping. I want to go camping. <laughs> Velma. Tell me, how can I go cam camping? Hmm. 
By the way, my kid made me upset today and yesterday evening. Just mentioning that. Just saying. All right, we have some food here. <laughs> well, well, he's still a very, very young kitten, right? So accidents happen, but this bastard is doing that on purpose. He's peeing by the damn aircon, and yesterday I grabbed him before he peed. And do you know what he did? He peed on me. He peed on me, and I was like, <laughs> I literally was like. Are you crazy? Yes. Yes. I was like... I was also after the shower and I just washed the floors. At freaking 11 p.m. After 11 p.m. Wait a second. It was something like midnight. And I was like... I took a shower. I have my clean PJs on. And I washed the floor. So I literally was like, I told my husband, like, clean it up. I need to go take a shower again and get a clean PJs. Yeah, and today he's, stab he's so stubborn. He keeps going the same place and I know what he's thinking. I feel like he's doing that on purpose. He want to go and pee there to piss me off. So I had a conversation with him today and I was like, listen. I'm losing my patience. You need to stop doing that. You need to stop it because I can forgive you a few times, okay? You're a small kitten, but I feel like now you're looking at me and you're like, I'm gonna go and do my business there. Especially he knows where her, where his pee spot is. I was, I couldn't like, okay. I was laughing a bit yesterday while, while it happened. I was like shocked, laughing. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, he's still I like the only thing I keep in telling I keep telling myself is like, he's still such a small baby. Accidents are happening. You know, it's totally normal. But why peeing on me? Like, I'm feeding you. I'm feeding you, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, God. No, I was like, also, he was he was so crazy yesterday evening. I I said that we made a mistake. We shouldn't call call him Weasley because he's not a wizard. He's fra freaking ninja. His name should be Naruto. He was honestly, he was jumping and doing such a weird stuff. I was like, "Are you alright? Like honestly, are you alright?" Jesus Christ. He's exhausting me recently. <laughs> yeah, so let's hope it's not going to happen today. Because, you know, if I, for now, I'm, I'm laughing about it. But if I'm going to have a bad day and he's going to pee on me, I might cry. I might be like, why are you peeing on me? Please, I'm so tired. I am so tired. <laughs> like, please don't do it. The desperation. But on the other hand, I keep thinking, like, if it would be a human baby, it, it would be more exhausting and more work. You know? So I'm like enjoy enjoy this moment at some point he's gonna get it at some point he's gonna stop making mistake or stop doing that on purpose <laughs> i don't know i i washed this area today with a lot of vinegar so probably he can't smell nothing and i hope that the smell is gonna make him stay away Let's hope for the best, because I'm like, please no, please don't do it again. I beg you, please. Oh, God. But, uh, but you know, I'm not bored anymore. Definitely no boring moments in life now. Uh, there's, there's a foot on some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold... That's true. It's December. How would you? How would you camp in December? I mean, summer, yes. Spring, like warm, like kind of yeah, warm spring. 
Yes. Kind of warm autumn, like beginning of autumn. Yes. Winter? I don't think so. I don't think so. I would have to go to hospital after that. Okay, so we have got food, we've got magazines. Oh, uh, that's not useful. Oh, the trees? The trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. Oh my god, what a spooky forest. Uh, slide. Okay. That's a camera for sure. What is that? For first I thought it's like to watch the moon and stars, but it's not. It looks like a huge mic like a distance microphone. Hmm. I don't know. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes, call me Velma. I am so smart. Oh god, I am deaf. You know what? I I should get like a Velma outfit for the future. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Velma outfit. Definitely. Need to Google it. But I'm gonna be blonde, long hair, long hair. Velma. Yeah. <laughs> Not dying it brown. Mm, it must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough? Hey, I'm Nick! Huh? Nick! <laughs> Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't said to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? Wait, but... Wait, the party poppers. I'm trying to understand what was the reasoning to set it there to activate on the popping sound like a, I don't know, gunshot? If it would be after Christmas, I would say maybe it's getting ready for the New Year's Eve, but it's it's still too far away, so... Bang! Click, 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 click. Good that I took those. Well, it responded. Yeah! Hey you, get your hands over that! Okay, don't allow me to try to make any accents, okay? Don't allow me, should we? I shouldn't even try it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you've done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, uh, uh? Sorry, nice, but I don't pay my bills. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry is not... Uh, sorry is... <laughs> sorry is nice, but it don't pay my bills. You all know... Y'all, sorry, y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? I will pay you back. <laughs> what were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how you'll th yanks thing. My brain. I see those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb doesn't mean we all are. Nick, help. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, no, no. Rather, uh, we're sort of uh, friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for be sake. 
What is pigeons? God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to your stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. On second thought, I will pay later. I'm really sorry. But we exam... Oh, we didn't examine everything. Rick, to respond to noise. Lo loud noise is like a party popper. That's suspicious. Wait. Oh! Oh god, wait a second. Examine. Okay, so literally nothing else. So I should talk to her. What happened, lady? What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. Uh, I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. My badge. My badge. Present. I'm a lawyer. I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't get... <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lo losses on me over that film now. Oh my god, I'm getting tired of trying to change something. Because uh, I have you all know I'm a fire now. Uh, what? Because I'll have you all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things in you. No, that's not it at all. We're here and investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't you all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too, you all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Sorry, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and dull. Never you mind, honey. I can talk young for ya if um if you pleases if it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. I think I will be okay. Great then. I'm Loda. Loda. Lotta. Loda. Never mind. Heart, but you all can call me Lada. Lada Heart. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Meteor. Meteor showers. But the microphone is set up for loud noises. It doesn't make sense for me. Mighty pleased to meet you. Oh yeah, when was the, that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in night on Christmas Eve. That's so? Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one, not sure though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I seen enough votes to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I seen when. We can check, we can ask her to check the pictures, I, I think. Lada. So, what is you do, Lada? Ooh. Nice tea. Huh? Me? Ha ha. Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at County U. Right in the heart of the heartland. 
Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at the uh, University Country U. Okay, girl, I heard it. I'm right here. Um, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Um, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors! Yeah, meteor showers. Falling stars? The camera. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's a German made, a genuine Solingen. Solingen. Yeah. Isn't that where they make knives? Don't ask me. Um. So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, Dad, the, the mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. My question is why she programmed it for lo loud noises. It doesn't make sense, really. Or, like, am I crazy or what? A programmable camera? Neat! Loda, yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Ayup? Actually, the victim in the case were researching... Uh, the victim in the case were researching. He was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't that gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, you're y'all are pretty bright. Oh my god, huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I will have a look see at my film. Mm, it would have been a photo taken late last night. I check him once. Don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! Oh god. I'll go check that film. You'll come back now, you hear? What is that accent, by the way? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Um, We can go to the police. Wait, how do I... Oh, entrance. I was like, how am I getting out of here? here December 25th police department criminal affairs I guess detective Gamshu is still in that meeting hey thanks for coming down pal detective Gamshu we just finished the meeting for better or for worse mm, bad news I don't want bad news. The victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, Pa. You're a lawyer. True. You know... I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still. I get the feeling that if he would done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they're thinking that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. 
listen. Oh, I just popped my back. Oh yeah, good feeling. Don't, don't go telling anyone else, pal. Here, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help and you're the one to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think he... I would think that was obvious. He got a strong working relationship as to we. We got. We trust each other and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there is a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. Jesus Christ. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, oh. oh, Dad, yeah, I made a copy for you. So, oh my God, time of death. Sometime on the 24th or 25th. Wow. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? She knows him. That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Who is he? Hmm. Can I examine here? I could, but there's nothing useful. I feel like. Oh god, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I think I should get a snack. I think I need some sugar in my blood. Maybe detention center. Present. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Did you do it? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Oh my god, it's getting dramatic. The music, I, oh god. Why not? Because he's guilty. Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edward did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick. Hey, y'all. Lada. Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last, last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a, a bullfrog. 
But you know... Seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Course. You reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. What's that? God, I think I should go, maybe. I should maybe go. Maybe I should go. You know. Now, don't you go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the ca cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lada. What? Can't you see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta! Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they will let me do some testifying. Hot damn! Darren. She left. Well, that's one more th witness. What do we do now, Nick? <laughs> Alright. Uh, have we missed anything? Don't think so. Move. Mm. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! <gasps> Santa? Ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Is that my friend? Nick, you know Santa? Well, Nick and... Say Nick. Hey, see the connection? Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Larry! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Kianse? Deserves the best. Oh, Kianse is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all you go girlfriend, you know. She bought this costume for me. That... That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Wow, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Fey. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister, little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Alright, listen. Oh! <gasps> Listen, what if he is? What if he saw the murder happen? What if he's the witness number one? It would be like a whole full circle. Full circle. It started from his case, him being my heir. kind of guilty, but not guilty actually. Mm. 
okay, listen, I need to get a snack. Oh my god, oh, I just messed up my hair completely. Wait. Can you please give me some snacks? One second. All right. Okay. Finished. Okay, now examine uh, uh talk. What happened? Hey Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kionse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oh! He did. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Kionse is not in town right now. She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot model. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I'm Nick. Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Wow, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. I have a snacky. Whoa, murder? Hmm. Huh, you know Mr. Edgeworth? Larry? Yeah, of course! Edgy was in the same class as us in the grade school. Oh! It's way back. Oh my god. My nose is runny. What? Samurai dogs. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I I mean they kind of look guard shaped. Oh, well, originally they were guard dogs. You know, like guard dogs, that makes more sense. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was, oh, change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> she made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. W what with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Oh, Gordy, the the monster, lake monster. Wait. Wait, I'm trying to eat in in silence. I think you can hear the chewing, I don't know. Okay. Mm, Edgeworth. Okay, so Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wait, I feel like my voice is too loud. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father, like his father? 
Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Defense. Wait a second. But Mr. Edward is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a probal... Probosize? I don't know how to pronounce it. Forgive me. On his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of defense attorney. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Was it me? Oh my god. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy. A monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow. It's really real. Nick, a monster! A real monster! It looks like Nessie. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Well, it looks kind of realistic. On this animated... in this animated movie, you know? Movie. Game. <laughs> Hey, there's a... <laughs> hey, there's a quote here from the person who took a, a, the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera camera to automatic and when we got into the frame... I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Um... So this woman, she was hunting Gordy. That's why it was set for loud noise. Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That will be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think now we can move. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What is it? Oh. Nothing, just something something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Interesting. Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Nice. Okay, the snack brings me additional energy, that's for sure. Let me check something on the Twitch. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Sorry, I kind of want to, you know, finish the snack <laughs> and then just focus on the game. Okay, I was just checking stuff. All works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Hey, I remember now. This guy, he's a lawyer that was at the, that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grosberg's office? Right, that guy. Hmm. Think we should go there. I'm just I just keep jumping, you know, here and there. Listen, he still doesn't have a uh, new painting there. Interesting. Hmm. One second. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Law office. <clears throat> Aha, you're me as something, are you not? I was here under study, yes. Phoenix, right. Aha, uh -huh. and you're, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You've grown! You've come to look a lot... You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? Mm, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, oh, yeah, I beg your pardon. Of course. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is, what is it then? Something the matter? Hmm. Oh, wait. I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to examine this thing. Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh? What happened to it? Mm. Oh my god. Maya. Chill girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right? Nice. Okay. I think we should talk. What happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? Mm. You haven't heard? Oh yeah, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot?
Well... <laughs> well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Mr. Grosberg, whatever ha whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes, uh, I do not think uh, it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's m it's my just desserts, old bitter desserts. Okay. Guys, I finished the snack. Mm hmm. Let's present. Huh? Strange. I feel as though I have seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? I knew I can ask more. Ha ha ha. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the D. L6 incident. DL6? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. So it's Mia's and Maya's mom, Kate? Oh, oh, yeah. That was the incident where the police were so at, lo at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean. Was that medium my mother? Yes, dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay. Your mother contacted the spirit of the victim, but the case was a loss. No conviction was made. That's interesting. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. <gasps> it matches the intro of this episode wait i kind of want to sit more com comfortably is my nose red i feel like i caught a cold i caught a cold while it's 30 degrees outside that's quite original for sure <laughs> i mean it's not that red i don't know it kind of seems to me like it is though all right um they never called the criminal right correct misty fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim <gasps> oh my her testimony led to charges being led against one man but Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. Huh. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You're the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Um, thank you. Um, oh, Maya, you don't know, girl, you don't know. No, please, d don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I would hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have... What does... What does that... Ha uh, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edward? It has everything to do with Mr. Edward, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. <gasps> what? His father? I'm shocked too. Maybe that's why he's not defense lawyer, but prosecutor. 
to... Oh... It makes sense. That's why he's prosecutor. He's prosecutor to make sure that the murderer is gonna end up in jail, not like in this case, right? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he will talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm back. We need to talk. What's this? I was hoping you you had gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? <laughs> it's it's no concern of yours. Hmm. Let's pres Can I talk first? Oh no. Oh god, I already asked those questions. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you have made incredible progress in your investigation. I will admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if I sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from the DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but... I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well, ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose uh, I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. Man, it's pretty clear he was the, the only one who could have killed my father. Why did he kill him though? And who was that, by the way? Now I'm confused. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the sp suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Oh god, I didn't change the voice at all. <laughs> um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. <gasps> so wait, that happened on December 25th now. 25th. Hmm. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. <gasps> oh, what? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case is statue... Sta statute... Jeez. Of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. <gasps> okay. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. 
if he's still alive he would be about 50 years old now i guess i can understand okay huh who is this person um so was your father a lawyer he was gregory edgeworth he was quite famous at the time apparently so you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps I would rather not talk about it. Okay, 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 okay. What can we do now? I feel like... Um, maybe I should... I, I have some evidences. This or this. Maybe this. Let's present this first. Hmm. Who would have thought there would be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shot him? What do you think, right? Oh, I'm scared! I'm scared! Oh no! I want him to say that he didn't do it, but at the beginning we have a cutscene and it looks like he did it. I don't know. I don't want him to be murderer. I don't think you're the kind of... I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. <gasps> Was it really, though? Usually, he, when they're showing us cutscene at the beginning, it's the true. So he didn't? Hmm. Oh? Right? It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Uh... Who could, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Yeah, that's that's my question. Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever go doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should... Huh? What's that? Earthquake, Nick! It's a big one! Well, it's coming down. Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a bow, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with Earthquake. Hmm... Okay. Detective Gum Shoe. I think we should move now to here. Okay, guys, let's take what's going on here. Uh, give me two minutes for a, a little break, all right? Two minutes and we're back. I would just turn off my camera. If I find it. Okay, I will just turn on the right back screen. Two minutes for a little break.
All right, I'm back. Give me just one tiny second. I bring Puppy with me. Ooh, la 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 la! Chat! Chat time! Look at that cutie! Papa! Mm. <laughs> Don't eat my hair! Look at her! What a pretty girl! She was so cutie! She was so cutie! Mm -hmm. I love you! <laughs> Look at her! Look at this girl! So pretty! So pretty girl! Such a pretty girl! <laughs> wow! Wow! Do you want to walk around? I need to take her back soon. What? Weasley? Oh god. Just gonna walk around. Just don't pee in the room, please. And Weasley is here too. Mr. Pee Pee is here. Weasley. He's like, let me speak. Let me speak up. Miami. Miami, what you're doing? Weasley. Oh god. He's not as cute. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. <laughs> okay, you can go. Miami. Okay. Let me take them out.
All right, sorry for delay. I had to give, oh my God, them a snacky so they not cry, but uh, the cat is currently crying. What the hell I do with my hair? Oh God, well, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the, the kitten and puppy. Go away, kitten! Go away. Okay. Listen, let's continue the storyline. Sorry, wrong seat. Oh god, hiccup. Jesus Christ. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I need to scoot to the left. Oh God. Hmm. Okay. I have glasses on. Okay, great. Guys, I am, my face it looks so freaking sweaty. Am I stressing out over the case? Might be. All right, uh, the game is on. What's going on here? Eek. What's wrong, detective? Meow. This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Mm. Oh god, my... Lot of heart. Lot of heart! I got it! I got it! Lot of heart! Lot of heart. Okay. Okay. Weasley, don't meow. I hear you. All right. Lot of heart. You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a the death sentence, Paul? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about it, about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh. 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 You're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Oh, God. My. Everything hugging the kitten, the puppy. My face feels itchy. No, sir. Present this thing. Look what I... I'm so sorry I hit you. Mm, look at that. Hey, you did it, Paul. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I will rip them rip up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. We'll see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. All right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big er, big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. Hmm, I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school.
Hmm. Okay. To be continued. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, let's save it. <laughs> oh god, wait, I want to change position for something more comfortable, but it's not that easy. Oh, I should have taken a stool. I would be so much more comfortable with a stool. You know? Okay. Okay. But let's find out. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Um, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Huh. You don't understand. I mean, he will really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Hmm. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of 10. Uh, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. Oh my god, that's stressful. Uh, Amaya. Uh huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach you couldn't reach i think it's because i haven't been training my powers are weak again oh man what about timing i'm really sorry i will try my best i hope so what are you two whispering about oh it's nothing well it's time let's head in okay all right we can do this my face. Bam! Same judge as, the, as always. As always. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Car. That's Mr. Karma. Okay. Uh, it's funny because they have poster on the. <laughs> On the wall saying karma is my boyfriend so <laughs> i don't know is the prosecution ready fool you seriously think that i would stand here were i not completely prepared right my apologies what the hell judge very well your opening statement please Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? What an ass! Honestly! Excuse me, sir. Do your job. This attitude is not uh, welcomed in this courtroom. I will be the judge today. Um, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I called the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. 
Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Let's go, Gumshoe! Describe the incident now. He's pissing me off. Oh my god. And I have... Oh god. I have so much time with him in this game. Yes, sir. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in very middle of the... That's not middle of the lake, but yes, please continue. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went toward the boat rental shop. Hmm. Testify to the court about the arrest now. Oh, wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Edgeworth learned it from him. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gra gavel. Your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Uh, yes, of course. That's quite right. What the hell? But this... It's what Edward's doing all the time. Oh god. Alright. I think I need to buy bigger armchair. <laughs> to fit myself on it. More. Oh god. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So he had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. Mm, I see very well. Begin your cross-examination turning now. <sighs> okay, listen, we need to get ready for that. And by that I mean I am stressed out. So, uh, you know, we need to, uh, need to figure out what to do. Uh, all right, so let's start it. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the leg. The question is, maybe something happened afterwards. Let's press him. Did you find any clues on the body? Oh, that's not what he asked. Okay. A single bullet, bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart fed fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone so its shape is well preserved uh, very well the card accepts this bullet into evidence okay interesting so we had to arrest mr edgeworth nick doesn't it seem like detective gumshoe is being a little vague he is because he don't wanna you know uh okay um yeah, he's being a bit of a bit vague. Uh, okay. I think I should press him so we had to arrest him because they don't have much evidence on that. Um, this one. There's no much evidence for that. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon... A pistol. Detective Gumshoe, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. I knew it. Uh... I think we should press him on the pistol, probably. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. 
Nick? Doesn't seem like they like to come shave you. Wait, where should I press? I think, um... Mm. Huh, let's wait. Let's press more. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Uh, oh my god. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. There were clear prints from Mr. Edward's right hand. What? Order. Order. So Mr. Edwards' fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, your honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accepted into evidence. All right. Um. The murder weapon fired three times, but they heard two. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective? Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as ballis ba as basic, sorry. As ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. Tsk. <laughs> Very well, I will explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? Um, <clears throat> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can d examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Oh, sorry, I, I just hit my mic. Order, order! Well, Judge, I would say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However, Oh, no, no. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued. And so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last 10 minutes. Judge? Uh, yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess now. Uh, but wait, I. Uh, just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Yes. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, it's not the best, ladies and gents, it's not the best. Hello, Stalier, how are you? How are you today? Oh god, that's awful. Oh god, my eye. Ah, Edward, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot the man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yeah, I'm good too. I'm good too. Okay, what are you up to today? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I uh don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. Say Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? 
Oh, uh, sorry, it's no good. I know, I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Oh, She's being sad, oh no. I think... Uh, no, I need you here, obviously. No, of course not, I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out, even if you don't actually help. It's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick, you don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium that can't even contact spirits. Ah, uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. lately. Jesus Christ. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. So that's the end of the races, I assume. And now it's gonna be testimony, right? Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Will Miss Lola Hart, Lola Hart, take the stand? Lola Hart, you are a research student at a university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything tri trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners. Oh no, he's doing the thing. Understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. He's pissing me off, by the way. Oh, uh, very well. Your testimony, please. It was Christmas Eve. Just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. She doesn't look sure when she says I was in my car. All right, I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There was an nary, a thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, except is as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Okay. Order. I will remove people from the courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake, so the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just get my drink. Uh, what's next? I will have order. Well, judge, the evidence is decisive. Decisive. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> let me get that. Uh, have very little doubt about this case. Oh god, wait. 
not that easy to get a drink into the... Ah! It's hot! Yum yum. Lemon. Um... Objection! Wait, your honor! I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words and they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Very well, if you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. Alright. Oh, wow. My tea. My yummy tea. Alright. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Any contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think there was. She didn't look sure on question number two. I think I noticed one little thing. Yeah, that's the thing I noticed, I think. Okay. Uh, well, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. <laughs> All right. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car, we're pressing here. Why were you camping there anyway? I am a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. Why she doesn't look sure here? What research? This is all this all sounds suspicious. Press further. Miss Hart. Could you be more specific about your research? What objection, asshole? What does the witness motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Oh, wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then, say it already. Objection sustained. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, your honor. I heard this bang come up from the lake. Um, this bang, that's quite generalized. If you weren't looking at the lake, so you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. The voice, it's like Satan's voice, like devil's voice. Objection. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Oh my god. Not literally chat with the witness. Uh. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-huh. I think I should press further. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There is also a photo. Hmm. You'd best look elsewhere for your pre precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. He's definitely hiding something. Then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. She didn't. 
You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Right. No meaningless babble. <laughs> okay. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. Should I press him further? What do you think, guys? Should I press her, her further? I think... I think I should. Why not at this point? How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost, almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Oh, shh. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Um, no need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained. Yes, of course. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth not... Worth not... Not nothing. There's a spelling mistake there, right? Hmm. Oh my god, I'm curious. But your honor, you keep your promise, Mr. Wright. I am afraid that I will have to penalize any other outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. What the hell? And if that happens, you will have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh-huh, Nick. Lotus testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean, but if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we covered the evidence insufficiently to make a decision. Oh god, what's... What should I do? Wait a second. Let me have a sip. Any ideas, guys? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Wait, let me put uh, the rest of the tea inside. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That was lovely. It's gonna be lovelier now after... I mix it with ice. Okay. Oh. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. I think I should... Then pass your judgment. Very well, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Please take the scent. Hold. Oh, who was that? It was me. Maya? Is something wrong? Do you need to use the facilities? No, I don't. Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's hi highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life and death. Wait, am I out of the camera? Lotta! Oh no, I'm still. I'm still. On. Lotta, did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. 
What's the big idea? Treating me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear it, I saw Edward. Enough. Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court, a uh, court, <laughs> and must leave. No, no. Oh no. Wait, I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Oh God, he's at it again. Huh? What's the difference? All that remains, all that remains, is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Okay. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Uh, I think I should say it's wrong. Because... Wrong. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. <laughs> order, 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 order. You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lada Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examinate her again. But he's in a contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Um, very well. My FA, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Maya. Aww. I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. <sighs> okay. I think we need to focus. I saw it clear as the day the man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Present... this what is that oh um, map okay objection. objection how could she see as clear as a day got you got you miss hart finally what you got what look at this photograph the photo i took the very same there is something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So, so? This picture was taken with professional high quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim <laughs> you saw Mr. Edgeworth? How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. Objection. Objection. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. Oh. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edwards? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Of course, I said I could and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. All right. Mm, okay, let's go. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished my... I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Oh, 
When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Mm, you use binoculars? Very well. It may be you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. I will press her on that. Binoculars? Yeah, oh my god, sorry. Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Yeah, how would she see uh, shooting stars with binoculars? That's kind of weird. <clears throat> well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? Uh, uh, I've got doubts about your camera too. Was that ready to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for set certain. Um, so right, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this, if you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about the camera? Press further. Hmm... It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. Really, though? Then why, if it would be set up to meteor shower... It wouldn't be direct, like it. It wouldn't be in a direct direction of the for the, to the lake. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Says who? Take a look at this photograph. This was taken on an automatic setting, was it not? Yeah, that's right. You have to point the camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. But as this photograph sh clearly shows, the camera was pointed directly at the lake. Oof. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, your honor. <laughs> well then, what exactly was she photographing? Show evidence. Your honor, take a look at, look at this. I think this one. Take that. Miss Hart, this is what you are trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy. Ah, uh, the sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that. I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Um. I have a proof. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? That's this photograph here taken with a, when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Yeah. 
Order, order, I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart, you were camping there to try and take a photo of Gertie, weren't you? Yeah, not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? Oh, sorry. So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious min... What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh god. I will die. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I... my... Oh god, am I sick? <laughs> Okay. Hey, but as she's so sukin Okay, never I will not even try to read it. Said so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gertie from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine. I will testify. I won't change nothing, though. Okay. Let's check it. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an invest investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. Oh, all right. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the man's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, cross my heart and hope to fry. All right. Um, Objection. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross examination. Um, uh, objection. I claim. The defense right to cross examine the witness, Your Honor. There was a contradiction, probably. I just need to focus. Okay. My brain just stopped. Oh well. Hmm, okay. Uh-huh. Oh my god. I will announce my verdict at the time, Mr. Right. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. I think I need to press on the Gordy statement. Actually, I'm not a research student at the university. I'm an investigative photographer. 
much more the scoop it would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding when I heard the bang. I looked right straight out at that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I watched the boat the whole time. I think I should press here. Uh, or maybe. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. I was the only... that it was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you are far from normal. What? You... y'all wanna step over here and say that? You are camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You would be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Ah! Oh. Continue. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Um, well, now that you all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there, no? Miss, Miss Hart, are you saying that you are not watching the boat then? Hoo hoo hoo. Sorry y'all, I wasn't fibbing really, I was just, I thought, you know, I could be witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited, I was sure it wasn't, I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. Uh, but hey, you got the photograph, you got proof. Hmm, still we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right, that's why I took this photo and... Huh? Witness, that's enough. You have had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it will drop the quality of a mite but should let us see who's who. She's enlarged the photo. Okay, let's do uh, make her show the uh, enlargement. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? What objection? Because it does not exist. What are you all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in the court in the first place. You old fool. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, Miss Hart? Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. Haha! <laughs> the witness will show the enlargement to the court. Alright. Alright. Here it is. Bam, bam. Hum, we still cannot see who is firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I will accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright? Um. Oh. 
and little good it has done any of us that's why i requested she not show it um i suppose this means that the cross examination is over obviously then i would like to close the cross examination of mr Lauderheart and none too soon that was a flagrant waste of my time mr von karma do you have anything to add I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. De decisive evidence, a decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course, then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Oh no. I think I should maybe object to the enlargement. I will object. Your Honor, there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo? Is strange. Oh. I think it's the pistol, isn't it? I think the original pistol looked different, no? Um, I have no idea. Any ideas? Hmm. Hmm. I have no... I think it's the... Uh, it's the pistol. Oh, you know why? I just realized it is the pistol, but it's not because it looks different. It looks different because it's a black and white picture. It looks different because he holds it in the left hand. Yup. Here, your honor. The shooter? Uh, I wish, I wish, oh my god, why I'm so much on my side? What the hell? How did I move so f Did my camera move? Maybe I kicked the camera, wait. <laughs> okay. Tradition. Don't make me hungry for pizza, I had pizza this week already. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, your honor. And that hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. Okay, we've got it. That's why I thought it looks different because the pistol has, is, has colors in it. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand, however, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edward's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> yes, boys and girls, yes. Wait, still it's a bit, I feel like... Okay, that's better. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor, you have given us definitive proof today. We know now that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. Who shot the victim? <laughs> yeah, I was looking like I'm gonna fall out of the camera, you know. I don't know. I think I I I moved it somehow. Wait, I'm trying to. Okay. Oh, that's that's better. I was like hiding. I was hiding definitely. Ah. Oh. Uh. Precisely. 
What about next? Wait. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? I think I can say the victim himself, but I don't know. The victim himself. Let's try it. There is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. But also, wait, but it doesn't make sense. On the picture you can see that the gun shot person in front. So, so you are saying that the victim committed suicide. Yes, your honor. I can think of no other explanation. I mean, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright, but suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound revealed the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. <gasps> oh no. Oh. A meter. There is no way it could have been suicide. Hmm. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? I'm scared. Of course, I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a con conundrum, conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, your honor. Okay. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, goodness. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but by the way, these episodes are so long, we're not gonna end the whole episode today for sure. Well, yeah, but what happened out there on the lake anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about to... What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Huh. Look. I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell, tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Hmm. I requisitioned a transcript of Lola's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course she didn't see... The shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood out was the bang she heard. All right. Hmm. Okay. Yes, let's save it. You know, we need to do an investigation. But I need to think. I need to think. What? I for sure didn't say it. We're like three hours into the game and I think we're maybe halfway through the episode. I think maybe. I think we'll do half of this episode. It's like a long, long episodes. Just the first episode was short one, you know? After that, it's just like long, long, long.
I feel like maybe even longer and longer with each one. Yeah, I think we're halfway through. And after that, we have one more episode. And I feel like the the, the other... Like, each episode is longer and longer. So I feel like the last one is going to be so freaking long. Long. Yeah, let's just overwrite it. God, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> what to do? Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why would you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, she's in detention. I was like, wait a second, why she's there? Hmm. What should I do? I think, uh, well, I don't think I can... Uh, let's talk questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. The detective Gamshu was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we will let you go after questioning. Whew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they will send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Oh, God. No, I can't get through to her at all. I tried, I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. I wonder if I will ever see my sister again. I think we should move now. Let's go to the Guard Lake entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. <laughs> they sat in the woods. Okay. Woods. Oh, hello, Gomshu. Hey, Paul. The try today is a. Uh, uh... Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know. Uh, thanks. Uh, talk. Tomorrow's trial. Maybe we're gonna learn something useful. Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? All right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witnesses was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, Paul. As much as I would like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Let's ask about uh, prosecutor. 
All right, I wanted to ask you something about Edward. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edward does talk about himself too much, see? But there's... Doesn't talk too much about himself. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yeah, that's the one. Oh my god, wait a second. I totally moved my... My blanket. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot... Father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Oh god, I'm getting a slightly hot. Give me one second. I hope it's gonna be better. Oh, Nachos! Oh, are you torturing me? Wait a second, I moved camera again. Wait a second. Alright, it's better now. Um, I want Nachos now. I'm jealous. You know? Hmm. All right. Amaya. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I will be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. Oh, I will get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait, um, I was wondering how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that, Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. amount. What, Edward? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Aww. <laughs> um, what should I do? Maybe... Hmm... I don't know. <laughs> uh, tension center, right? To pick up Maya. Hey Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Wait, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm, oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Because he got the money. Oh, God. I want the nachos really bad. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Okay, so we've got her. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh no! Extra nacho cheese! Oh god, I'm so jealous! I'm so jealous. I love I love nachos and I love cheese. Ah. I think No, I already asked that. Let's go. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the 
pressing it's working up the case against edward hmm hey y'all hey it's lada y'all really did it today what did we do now no i'm not complaining See, I did a little thinking, a little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lada? So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Um, hmm. Today's trial... What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I would be a witness. Mm. Even though I didn't really see anything, I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry, I know I ca caused you a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? Gordy. What about Gertie? Right, well, the way I figured, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gertie fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. Alright, Loda, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Making it up. Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? We're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckoned we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. Insecure a bit? It's written all over your face. Let me tell you. Whoa. Let me tell you, most so southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what will it be? You're gonna deal or not? We're gonna deal or not? Deal. We don't... Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all? Come to me first. Got it? <sighs> okay. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly are we search for a make-believe monster maybe you can find a monster myth special specialist hmm. oh look at that oh the flags there's usa there's japan it has a brazil korea south korea china uh uk and that's is that oh no is that australia Wait a second, I'm not sure, okay. I'm not the best uh, with flags, okay. But there's no Polish flag. What the hell? What the hell happened? Why my camera is like... 
every single time my camera is like moving. Not me staring at the camera trying to catch it while it moves. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> Wait, I'm hearing stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's have a literally two minutes break for toilet and we'll be back. Okay, we'll be right back. See you soon. All right, I'm back. Oh God, it's yeah. I'm. I just went to toilet. It's. It was so fine today. It was just 25 degrees Celsius, and now it's so humid in this room and like hot. Uh. God. Okay, let's go. Let's go! <laughs> oh god, how's the nachos? How's your nachos? I'm gonna eat pasta after stream. They're still samurai, Nick! Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl's fiance's idea. She was all... If you like, put this here. It would be like, really cool. Ooh, nice, nice. What are you eating nachos with? Like guacamole or like a melted cheese dip or salsa or sour cream? <laughs> uh, dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's really impressive. She could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people and that shows finished now so she got them for free right
but still just just trust me you should like bake it in a dish like nachos all the cheese and add a bit like small splashes of guacamole and salsa and sour cream mm. yeah i'm telling you it's gonna be like the best the best Oh god, I'm making myself more hungry. I will pass out. I'm so hungry. What to do? <gasps> you don't like guacamole? Maybe you just didn't get the nice guacamole. What about salsa? You could add salsa. It would be it, it would be like a nice touch. Okay, what we're what we're asking him about. Uh, let's talk to him. Edgeworth, Yonik, what happened with Edgy? Edgy is a bit edgy. Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Let's ask about the big samurai. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? All right. The compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit uh, by my hot dog stand. That's why I used to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh, and here I thought you would inflate it by yourself. I mean, I'm not surprised. I would think that too. Hmm. <laughs> Hey there, Paul. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Ha whatever. Have a seat, Paul. I'm here for you if you need anything besides money, that is. Uh, investigation. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edward's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edward's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond, they're saying that's why Mr. Edward shot him. Oh, all right. Sea salsa is fine. Who? Me? I am so innocent. Like, I'm walking innocence. What are you talking about? M poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Gordy. State Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your mind? Eek? You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Uh, oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. He's scaring me too, to be honest. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Loda. 
Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I will loan you one of our newest secret weapons for fighting evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons. I like secret, secret weapons. Mm, hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. <gasps> Alright. I really want to know what are the secret weapons. Introducing secret weapon number one. Missile. K9 police dog. Still in training. Oh... Missile, missile, here, boy. <gasps> it's cute, Shiba. It's Shiba. I love Shibas. Oh, no. How am I not supposed to choose a Shiba? Um, I don't know. What do you think? Here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick. A cute dog, and this will help us. How? Woof. Next secret weapon, number two, is a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till we try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon, weapon, weapon number three, a metal detector. We're gonna take a metal de detector, I feel like. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's the best. I feel like that's the best, just because it's the only one like we're sure of. The first one, it's a canine dog in training. He looks still like a puppy. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, it might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? I will choose... Metal detector. But I kind of want to take... Mm, poppy. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I think now we're gonna move to the detention gur go go guard guard lake entrance I assume. Oh god. Move. I haven't been here yet. Beep, 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 beep. Nick, it's beeping. The metal detector found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Why do I have to check it out? Nick, look. <gasps> huh? An air tank? Huh, the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all... Why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? That's freaking true. Huh? There is something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we have found it. Oh my god, it's so humid. I think we should go talk to La Larry now. Because it's his, for sure. Oh my god, I have so many stuff. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. I think I s should ask... Oh my god. Is it yours? 
say is this air tank yours what why would i have a thing like that look see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve it's just like the string of flags around your still semi right there must be a coincidence there is strings of flags everywhere these days i like element no like elementary schools and used car dealerships look why would i need a tank anyway i think to inflate something inflate what what else that big puffy steel samurai now why would you go asking me a question like that right right uh, actually um see the compressor i was i always used was on the fritz so i tried using the tank to inflate it just once and uh, it didn't go so well oh i think i will ask more it didn't go so well uh yeah do you think you could be a little bit more specific come on look it's embarrassing so i don't want to talk about it Tell us, tell us. Fine. Whatever, it's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then, blam! Oh, the valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off to in off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Um The flying air tank. Um so the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake, so I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kianse gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you th find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night of the murder. He's the... Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at last. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. It's... We're gonna move now to the woods. I think that's the Gordy... Gordy mystery hey yo well you're finding anything about gordy it is like the chili i think i have to sneeze whoa no you don't no sneezing at you what you oh god i told y'all no sneezing see i said the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang it would trigger on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. Oh, <laughs> my money. My money. Okay, uh, let's talk and talk about what happened. About Gordy. I've got the info you all did. Oh, we found him, I think. We found him. There is no such a thing as Gordy. What? How can you all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy doesn't exist. The proof that Gordy doesn't exist is here. Right? Okay, here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist, and that's exactly that. 
take that. <sighs> oh god. I'm feeling so hot. What? How? How? No, I'm Velma. I'm solving crimes. What are you talking about? Honestly, I need to stretch. <laughs> oh god, it's so humid here. Oh. I have no idea. I have no idea. What sh what are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank and when the va valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. <laughs> The tank, along with the steel deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Yes. What the hell? No. I object. Objection. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lola. Nah, it's okay, you win. I give you your info like I promised. Poor Lola. Case information, girl. So tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the, the witness tomorrow they said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here both rental both boat jeez just an old guy living all by himself y'all should go check it out i have a suspicion now i have a suspicion about this guy right now and i will tell you in a second let's get cracking nick Hold on, something something else? Yeah, the night of the murder, my camera clicked twice, you know. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much used as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Okay. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada, it's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Um, someone should whip that butts into shape. Oh my god, like legally blonde reference. Okay, we're gonna move to the boat a rental shop. Hey Nick, this is the boat shop that Lada was talking about. You're right, doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Okay, new one. December 26th, Caretaker Shack. That's a bloody new one. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mm. Meg, that you? Ick. Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. 
Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I will leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg, yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, squat. <laughs> Nick, what was that? A parrot, the one on the perch. Keith? Yes. Wait, I'm moving different way than I wanted. Uh, I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I would say it's the name of his pasta shop. Oh. <laughs> That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello, squawk. I up. Uh, uh, he fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Let's examine stuff. It's Polly. Oh my god. Oh. I'm kind of like, ugh. Um, wait, maybe let's just talk to him. Present. We're an attorney. Oh god, I can't. Oh, present. Oh my god, silly goose. Zzz. Hatch, hatch. That a lawyer's badge? Yes, it is. I don't believe it. Oh god, guys, I'm getting so freaking hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay. I get it, huh? I, uh, I got you figured out now. You're not, Keith. Nick, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir, I'm... No, I'm not, Keith. And I'm not Meg either. Uh, we're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Oh, I'm a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I will help. But on one condition... What's that? When this case is over and done, you will run the wet noodle. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Um... We promise. Nick, are you sure about that? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Uh, oh my god. I'm dying. Okay. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say you too, Meg? Yes? Ha ha ha, you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello, squawk. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, what should I do? I think that I probably should... Mm, mm, <laughs> what about new photo? Mm, what is that? Well, let's present this one. <laughs> Oh no, he fell asleep, so... I think maybe... Uh, I thought maybe... Mm -hmm. 
Maybe the other photo. Uh, you know what? I have an idea. We need to talk. Um, a pasta shop? I up to think that what Nubo will leave on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes you to the third generation. Meg? Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of Da Tossing. Da Tossing? You two Keith. Yes, you will be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from... <laughs> Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg? Yes? You know the best pasta has always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? Okay. Mm the boat, boat rental shop. Um, this is a boat sh rental shop, right? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? This here is the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though not that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo dude, you wanna ride in one of your boats? That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Don't if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere, but this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? Hmm. I think she should he should be like unable to. How do you say it? Um Unable, he's like, he has obviously some issues, you know? Oh, maybe this one. Oh, yep, yeah, I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith, yes? It's okay, you can call me that. Dad, you know something about this? I uh, yeah, the other night I out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose since you're taking over the shop and all. Oh, interesting. So, what you saw? I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside, probably night. Are you up? Hmm. Then I heard this bang, and I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself, yep. What did he say? Uh, yep. I forgot. I will remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. Oh god. It's not the best. Oh, electric blanket? Okay. Okay. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Nothing. Hello. Nothing. It ignored me. What, you forgot me? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello, squawk. See? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly. Too bad all she can say is hello. Ha ha ha, old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Oh no, I need to know the secret words. 
Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly Squawk? Hee <laughs> hee, cute. Hmm. <laughs> ah, my memory memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Squawk? All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Haha, <laughs> scenic? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind, yes. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. You know what, eh? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Yep, that kid next door, you always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Sounds familiar. Uh, got himself some whiskers growing up, growing out his face. Gumshoe, oh! Mm. Okay. Oh wait, I had one more question, huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk? Don't forget DL6, Squawk? <gasps> That's an idea I had before. Was she just saying, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6, Squawk. What the DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I mean dad. Mm, that's what I expected, but somehow I expected him to be younger, so I was like, no. Uh, okay. He locked the door from the other side. Okay, let's move to the... Let's move to the... Here. And here. Hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, you wanted to ask you something. Oh, God. It's so freaking hot. Where have you been? Oh, God, it's so hot. Ah. Okay. The boat caretaker. You know the boat rental shop down at Guard Lake? Oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How would you suppose... How would you... Hmm, that was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mr. Lauder Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Hmm. DL6 incident. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edward's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with his current case. Hmm, he doesn't know about the L6 either. Mr. Edward forbade us from reading the files, so I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, Paul. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I would consider opening the file up. What should I say? Uh, I think I should present... Uh, the only piece... Oh my god, sorry. The only piece of evidence we've got is the parrot. In this situation 
The old man at the boat rental shop spared. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? The L6. What? Polly Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk? Don't forget the L6. Squawk. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 file. Ooh, let's go. Thank you, De Detective Gumshoe. Move. Oh, nice. Wow, it's amazing. Lee, Dusty. 10 years of files and 10 years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Okay, so Maya found it. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts like a summary, right? Summar summary, summary, found it. Here you go, December 28th, 2001. What's exactly 15, that's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place um, in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Oh my God, no. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. That's why he's scared of... I think we'll see. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. All right. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five damn hours. Hmm. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? The one of three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edward's father, wasn't it? Mm. So let's check victim data. Uh. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he would be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, M Miles. Miles Edgeworth. Um, from the angle of the bu bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Pistol again, interesting. The, the, la the last one, suspect data. Hmm, what would be the guy that my mom got arrested? Hold on, that's... that it is. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. Yanni Yogi. Hmm, I don't know. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the person. Well, then he had to have done it, but he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case, right. Mm. Okay. 
The suspect, Mr. Yoki, was oxygen deprived so much that he had brain damage. That's him for sure. He lost uh, all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Hmm. Far away. I think he's far away. Hmm. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Mm. Right, that's probably all we'll be able to find here now. All that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how dad will do testifying in court. Oh, all right. Listen, I think that's gonna be all for today. I am so hungry, also <laughs> exhausted. We're halfway through, <laughs> halfway through. Yeah, yeah, I'm just overwriting the data. Whew, okay, let's check the schedule for the rest of the week. Oh God, wait. Jesus, I panicked. Um, okay. So, the, the <laughs> announcements. The stream schedule for this week. Tomorrow, same time, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. Great. <laughs> Can't wait for that. So, we're going back to... Hogwarts Legacy and after that on Sunday we're playing Pokemon Violet yeah okay so that's all for today I will go and eat now <sighs> and turn aircon in the living room to freaking get rid of this humid warm air <laughs> mm. all right thank you for today I hope you had fun we're for sure going with the story you know the story is going on <laughs> thank you have an amazing rest of the day and i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye thank you for today's stream bye